Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Lost Odyssey. We're here at the Great Gate of Ura. Uh, I, I ran out of the city. So that we could immediately jump to the Ypsilon Mountains. Now, I could go to the Ypsilon Mountains south and make our way back through up to that uh, peak. But I don't remember if we can go backwards. So we're just going to go forwards. And this would have coming back here for to to, to, to drop off this uh, for the magic energy researcher would have netted us the the dream that's here that hasn't been dreamed yet. Well, I don't think it's been dreamed yet. I don't know. I did all those at once. So, oh goody. All right, we're just literally gonna attack everyone. I should put rings on everyone. I love how one of them falls down. I guess we can remove the anti-petrify now. Like, when your magic users can strike someone for 300 damage and instantly kill them? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 8 SP is not terrible for just plowing through enemies. Makes you wish you could have gotten the double SP, like, this early, right? the three of these before the three magic casters even get to go. I'm wondering if I should put on the absorb rings and see how that works. That might not be a bad idea. What a waste of time. We are going to get a level here too, by the way. <laughs> At least for some of our guys. <laughs> uh, all right. Quip Ming. She learned the wind reduction. So let's get stand firm. You know what? Let's do it. Spirit killer crit. You know what? You run the angel ring. Uh, you run... Don't I have one that's HP and MP absorb? Do I not? Do I seriously not? Okay. You run the single HP absorb down here. And you... Can run the demon ring with the MP absorb. And let's see how Absorb Transfer works with... That's one of the trees that you can ram. So I don't need to worry about it. We did thoroughly search this area. Well, I think we thoroughly searched the area. And since I think we thoroughly searched the area, we thoroughly searched the area. 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 Uh, say thoroughly search the area five times fast, because my tongue is just, it's done with the thuzz. Maybe this was the fastest way to get up here anyway. No, look out. Maybe I need to let them get hurt. What a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> Three of our guys leveled up to 49. I love it. 
<laughs> in the Ypsilon Mountains. All right, so we got MP up three and Fireproof. The Absorbs are so much better, but if you can't do the Absorbs, go Proof. That was Seth and Sarah. So you're going to get the hit. And down here... Looks like your next one's the Ogre Bangle. I mean, the SP farming really isn't bad, even at 8 per fight. That's pretty darn good. But apparently, there are some creatures that will give you 16 for just that one creature. They're the, the Platinum Kelalons. And we haven't met them yet, but they're in the uh, Numerian Atoll, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe they're there. Yeah, we don't even have to use our rings here. The rings are just overkill. Massive overkill. Six. That one, see, that one only had six SP. And that was doubled. Which means each one of those creatures only drops one. But I mean, most of the creatures that we're still running into only drop one or two each anyway. Should I run out the other side? Or should I run out, run back out this side? I think it might be faster to run back out this side. Let's take him down. Honestly, I think the fights are the longest part. If only we could get level three rings. Well, multi multi level three rings. Similar to how we can get the level two rings. We can craft level two rings. Because I know right now we can craft the level one rings. The technician reaching reaching on his magic. <laughs> that technician working on magic research said this was a magic location. It's kind of hard to tell, though. Oh, well. I guess put the magic gauge down here. Magic gauge installed. Time to run away. <laughs> Literally, that's all we had to do was run to the top of the mountain. And now we have to do that at four other locations. However, three of them should be... Or two of them should be fairly quick. Hi, guys. You're not going to... Ah. I was hoping that was going to be a counterattack. That was close. <laughs> I still think that's funny. I think it's funny that she melee attacks with her staff instead of the two daggers on her hip. I don't know, that's, that's bugged me since the beginning. Alright. Did Seth learn? She did. Wow. We're just cruising through these again. Alright, the Platinum Gauntlet, no. You need to do your skills first. All right, now that you've done your skills, now we can re-equip you.
Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with Ming and Sarah for abilities. So I'm going to leave that for now. I do know that I want our two melee people and our two casters to each be set up similar to each other. So, for example, the two the two melees are the same and the two casters are the same. Just so that I have all of the options for that formation slot. Uh, there may come a time when we have all of the seed slots that we equip everybody pretty much the exact same. Because the magic, the, the three magic pieces only take up three slots. Because you got black, white, you got spirit, and you got um, combination. Here. Really? I don't think I've ever heard Ming say that at the beginning of a battle. I don't think I've ever heard who's, her say Numara's here. That's that's funny. What a waste of time. Literally in our in our case currently. Literally a waste of time. Yeah, see, I'm starting to wonder if going forward I should have MP absorb level 2 on Seth and Kaim. Wait, how did they... Do I have two platinum gauntlets? Alright, maybe I do. I, re I remember thinking just a minute ago when I did Seth, yeah, I do. When I did Seth, I was, or when I did Kaim after Seth, I was like, wow, that's weird that they had the, the Platinum Gauntlets here again. But apparently I have two of them. I'm guessing I just bought one. Yep, I got two. That's funny. Life brooch. But basically, I want the core components of all four of our immortals to be the same. So that's... Um, they all get MP up. They all get magic defense up. They all get defense up. And they all get HP up. Uh, then the casters get MP up and the... And casting time reduction... And the melee guys get attack up and the like the absorb transfers and stuff like that. I think I think that's the way that I'm gonna do it. But that uh, That that requires us to have most of the abilities that I want, which is what well, I guess we're not currently working on that, but it is what I'm working towards. And then obviously everybody's going to have quad elements uh, absorb. And absorb attack and all that stuff. All right, so that was the Epsilon Mountains. Next, we need to go to the Black Cave. But which entrance do I need to go to? From the north. Cruise across the ocean real quick. <laughs> All the way around the world. It's fine. All right. So. It said it's easy to find if you enter the cave from the north. What is this little dot? that was over here. Do I need to go... 
It's up. How in the world do I get over there? Ha! Ha ha See, isn't this one of the magic spots the technician in Ura mentioned? Let's set up the magic gauge while we're here. Yes. Sweet. Yeah, this was the cave with those funky... Those critters that you can see in the background. That honestly are super annoying. Alright. Next is the ice canyon. South entrance, right? Yeah. And it should be like right here. <laughs> hey, this is one of those magic spots the guy in Ura told us to investigate for research. We better set up the magic meter here. Okay, thanks. All right, so the next one may take the remainder of the episode, but we'll see. Uh, the next one is in the Ruins of the Eastern Tribe. So it's the Great Ancient Ruins, and it's like halfway through. <laughs> hey, don't go that far. I love how that picture is these little ruins and wandering through them, they're just massive. So we basically have to go to that platform um, almost in the center of the screen. That's where we need to go. So let's get going. And of course, you know, while we're running there and then running back out, we're going to get attacked by a whole bunch of people. Oh, not these things. Organic earth. All right. We actually have to, like, do things. All right. So earth. Wind. So we want the cyclone rings. Equip a cyclone ring. Nope. You guys are not attacking. You're black magic. Winda. All right. You get... Is there one that's wind and bio? No, that would be too good to ask for, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. Spartan ring it is. And yes, I know that we're attacking the same person. I've learned that it's better to take out the guys one at a time. I guess I could put attack up back on some of these guys. Ow! That's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, look at that. Look at how much virus hurts. Or is this toxin? Alright. Attack, attack. We may as well just attack because he's just gonna die before any of our magic goes off anyway. That's ridiculous. I wonder if anti-poison would cover that. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, skill, Seth, set. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Anti-petrify. Becomes... 
Anti-poison. Let's do it on both. Anti-petrify to anti-poison. Alright. Now, who is currently... No one. Sweet. So you get the ogre bangle. There we go. Now you'll do some damage again. <laughs> Please tell me it's more of those giant toads. I want to test stuff. I mean, sure. Except we're all going to attack the Truki. Except for these guys. And at least he attacked. I guess this would have been the perfect time to uh, to test. Well, I guess we're going to test Acid Rain. Oh, it is. It is considered poison. Cool. We're all going to take, or they're going to take a whole bunch of damage in the back, though. It's just ridiculous. It's going to be damaged down, but... Oh, no. It isn't, even though they were running wind. Alright. Well, that was fun. So there's double gold and HP max up one. So we're going to swap out the HP max up one. Because not everybody learned double gold. Was Sarah, right? Yeah. I gotta go down the list every once in a while. Because you never know. Alright, Cook. I need more healing, please. Sweet. He's at 5,000 health? That's just ridiculous. Uh, however, that did mean that I want to swap these guys over from anti-petrify to anti-poison. All right, awesome. Time to go upstairs. The long way. <laughs> Uh, at least I fixed all of the platforms so that I don't have to split the party anymore. Dang. It's alright. We'll go down. And I'm pretty sure we can go this way. And then it's this way? Yes. Sweet. It makes getting around a little bit easier, but it's still still super annoying. Ah, uh, yes, the place where we came to fight Trukies so that they could steal the stupid talisman. <laughs> I guess we could have come back for that. I mean, I didn't know that we would have to come back here anyway. So, you know, this must be one of those potent magic spots that a researcher told us about. Let's put a gauge down. All right, time to leave, because that's all four. Wait, ah, it's fine. I was going to run through the white orb before we did, but I forgot it was there.
I wish that you could just run to the top and then it would teleport you out, but it doesn't work that way. That was a cutscene teleport. <laughs> Not an actual exit. Well, hello. I forgot you were even a thing. Spirit magic, huh? All right, I got something for that. And then the other two are wind. So they're fire. Which means I may as well just throw... Uh, oh, we do have level three stuff on some of these. Let's just throw a flare ring on here. Spell black magic. Flara. You're fine with what you got. So between... Oh, I guess just one of them is going to kill it. Perfect. Oh, this is going to go so much faster than I thought it was going to. I love it when we don't take damage at all. <laughs> no damage. And then five steps into another fight. <laughs> oh, hello. All right. Time to annihilate a whole bunch of pots. Oops, he's still gonna kill it. <laughs> it doesn't matter, he's still gonna kill it. But they're not. It takes two flares to kill these guys. Oh boy. Heal it. Ah. All right, let's see how this transfer works. Oh, cool. So yeah, that kind of means, means that I want HP absorb and MP absorb. I need two of those rings. Ming learned slots plus five. All right, Sarah's got double gold, so now we can swap everybody out. And I think the next one is double experience. So skill Seth, skill Link said double experience. I set you to double experience, right? No, I set you to double SP. Because of course I did. Uh, okay, you're double experience. Double experience. Now, what did we learn? We got magic defense boost. We're going to get evade up. We got our slots plus five, which I want to... Equip before we go too much further. Of course, it was towards the top. Okay, so now I can set her skills later. So, what do we got left? Secrets. And you're definitely getting the freedom armband. All right, I don't know what I want to do with them yet. I'm going to have to sit down probably between episodes, maybe even between recording sessions, and completely rearrange everybody's skills because they are not in an order that I want them to be. But I also, I, I, I know that I have... I don't know if I would call it OCD, but there is some... Stuff has to be in specific orders and set up specific ways and all that stuff. Um, yeah. 
Oh, it's one of you guys. So we either need to be running Spirit or Earth. So I'm just going to switch to Earth. That would be not Master Rings. That would be the Planet Ring. Spell black ground. And I want to kill the water beast before he's last. But I also don't want this guy around. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your Windus. Doesn't do anything to my back row, though. It's like a 90% reduction. Oops. It's like a 90% reduction in damage. Because Windus does, like, what, 1,300 to the front row? And it does 150 to the back? That's just not right. I mean, it's hilarious, but it's just not right. All right. I know this episode's running a little long, but I didn't want to run out of this location um, on my own. Like, with my own... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, I guess I could have run up over there. I didn't want you guys to miss any of the fights on the way out. So I'm going to leave it a little long. We're going to get back to the world map, and that's where I will end off the episode. Maybe we'll get there without any fights. Of course, now that I said that, I jinxed it. Ah, I got to love jinx. All right. Uh, all right, so we got to use you... I gotta remember how to get out of here. And then you. And then you. Get off. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Or, you know, no more fights. Well, I am going to end today's episode off here. Hope you folks have enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.